Right, so you join me as I'm making my way to my photography spot for the day, which is actually on some private farmland. I got permission from the farmers to sort of be able to roam wherever really, which was really nice of them. So um, I do have some more exciting videos planned, hopefully. Uh, but for this first video, like I said, this is my first solo attempt at wildlife photography. Um, so uh, I don't know if it's a bit of a cop out, but what I'm doing is using the very non-exotic, but very accessible gray squirrel as my subject for today. So it's actually a really nice day today, uh, considering that it is a bank holiday here in the UK. So this is Easter Sunday as I am filming this. And yeah, the weather is, I don't know, <laughs> it might be a bit harsh uh, for what I want, but it's just nice to be out when it's not raining and to see all these little lammies out as well. They're very sweet. Right, so I have just got to the woodland that I am going to be sort of hoping to focus on uh, in this video. So I know there are squirrels here. I've walked past this quite a few times with Skyler doing some scouting. So I know that there are squirrels here. Um, there are also lots of buzzards in this area as well. So I don't think they're coming into this woodland at the moment, but um, so I'm just gonna try and find somewhere that I can set up with a nice composition. We've got quite a few um, sort of down dead trees in this area, which is quite nice. And there's also loads of daffodils, which is pretty cool. It is Wales after all. So um, yeah, hopefully things will go to plan. Now for this, if you have seen my Scotland videos, you will know that I was actually renting the 200 to 600 Sony lens on that trip. And so I haven't got that today. Instead, I have got my two no what is it i've got my 70 to 200 f 2.8 gm2 and i've also got a two times teleconverter on it now most of the time it works fine however i do find that if the subject is really tiny in the screen it's not great at focusing on it and it does back focus a bit but i'm hoping i can get into some nice positions today to get some photos of the uh, squirrels. Um, I can also put the camera into crop mode which will take this from a 400 to a s hang on it adds half doesn't it yeah so it'll take it from 400 to a 600 and uh, yeah let's see what we can get. Okay so I'm thinking here yeah, might be a good place um, you can't see it because trees um, so I can see right down to the tree here um, and so hopefully if I just stick it out um, something will come back. I have ironically just seen some rabbits running around just below it, but they have uh, they've shot off now. So I've just spotted a rabbit just below me. Um, it's like just between behind these trees. So uh, let's see what we can get. It's uh, still quite far off, so. Um, going into crop mode. This has been quite exciting considering I've just sat down. 
tree creepers just go around the other side of the tree, which is annoying. But <clears throat> that red kite flew right over where I was sitting. Um, I know we have a lot of kites in this area, but I don't actually know where they're nesting at the moment to like, find a proper like guaranteed hideout. But um, that was amazing. <laughs> Wow, that's typical. I've just checked and I think all my red kite shots are out of focus. <laughs> that's uh, not a great start, is it? But we've only literally just sat down, so we will just see what happens and uh, hope for the best. Okay, so I've been here for about 45 minutes now. Uh, not going great, <laughs> I'll tell you that. And everything seems to have disappeared. I haven't really seen much in the way of any animals. The tree, the, the tree creeper, I did see, but it ran to like the back side of uh, the tree that it went to, which is a shame. Um, I can see one squirrel at the moment, but it's like it's in a really messy tree, so I can't get a decent picture of it yet. But we'll keep at it. And uh, yeah, hope we'll get something. The sun has gone in, so it has actually got quite a bit colder now. But I'm still hopeful. I'd be a bit embarrassing to fail at photographing grey squirrels. <laughs> but um, yeah, we will see how we do. But yeah, I'm gonna still sit out for you know another hour or so. I should get something in an hour, I hope. Um, and then we might move on to another location if nothing really happens here. So we'll see. So I did finally get some photos of the squirrel. So hopefully there's some good ones there. Um, so yes, I have some photos at least. <laughs> Hopefully the pictures for that came out. It wasn't around long enough to get some video, but I think I got some good photos. Well, photos anyway. So the little rabbit is back, um, but there's a twig right in front of it, which is really annoying. So I'm just gonna wait and uh, see if it moves a bit and then uh, we can get some more photos and videos. I was just focusing, taking photos of that little bunny and uh, there's actually a squirrel sitting beautifully on a jutting out stick just behind it. So I've got some photos of that. It's still quite far away. I would love to get my hands on a 200 to 600 mil lens. Um, however, I feel I would have to struggle with that at the moment. I am absolutely freezing. <laughs> um, so, Holding the camera steady is quite difficult uh, because I'm shaking so much so I think I might have to move on in a bit because like I said I am really cold now but I'm going to try and stick it out for a bit longer and uh, yeah I'm pleased with my squirrel shot though and that rabbit it's gorgeous so yeah I'm quite happy that this I, I've got something <laughs> I might try and sneak forwards I'm going to try. Let's go further. Oh, the squirrel's already moved. That didn't go well. <laughs>
Right, so I think I'm gonna call this video there. I'm pretty happy with the photos and video clips that I've got. That little bunny that arrived was so cute and I think I've got some nice photos of that. Obviously I won't know fully until I'm back home at the computer, but I think I can call my first solo wildlife photography mission a success, which is good. I did get worried a bit earlier on though that I wasn't gonna have any photos at all. So yeah, so that's pretty good. So one thing before I do finish this video, I hope you like my new coat. It's a bit more wildlife photography friendly. Looking at myself in the monitor here, I'm pretty happy with how well I'm blending in, uh, which is the main thing. Um, that uh, yellow coat that I had in Scotland was a bit garish for wildlife photography. So hopefully this will do the trick. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed coming along on this first solo wildlife photography mission with me. They're not all going to be this boring. Um, I will be trying to find some more exotic animals uh, to bring you along and photograph and film with. But yeah, for now, this is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you would like to follow along with my journey, please do subscribe and I shall see you in the next one.